beautiful MK Love fam. It's Melanie Kate Love here, the self love makeover artist. Today I'm bringing you another general reading, which is all about the new moon that is occurring in Libra on October the 19th, which is so exciting. I've just been doing some research online, looking at the astrology to work out what's going on. And yeah, I'm so excited to see what comes up. Just wanted to remind you that if you would love to book your very own private spiritual reading, my website is now live and I just wanted to say a massive shout out to all of those beautiful souls that have already booked their private spiritual readings and it has been an honor and a privilege to read your testimonials which are now on my website and I just love it so much and I love that I can give you angel guidance to help fast track your self love makeover and I love that all those beautiful souls that have already booked are literally wanting to do whatever they can to get to where they want to be because they need that little guidance to help them with their next step on their self love journey so I love that anyways so let's get cracking on to our angel oracle from Darren Virtue Angels, can we have clarity for my beautiful MK Love fam for the new moon in Libra? Just one card, please. Oh gosh. Let's try that again. Just one, not two. New moon in Libra. For October the 19th. Okay, can you fall out? Because I clearly missed it. Can you fall out, please? I'm too excited I'm not listening properly. Take two. Moving in Libra. What is this energy like really? Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, is this energy like really slow? Ah! Shower of abundance is coming for you. So maybe it's taking its time to come to you. So I feel like whatever you, because those cards took forever to come out. So it's, to me, it's saying it's like you're taking tiny little steps, but you're not exactly seeing like the end goal, but everything you're doing every single day is bringing you closer to your dreams. Shower of abundance, dude, beautiful card beautiful card. Remember that with these general readings or whenever I do a private reading for you, that whatever pops into your subconscious immediately as I show you the picture, that is your divine message. Do not second guess yourself, okay? That is your divine message. So it says, to heal your financial financial situation, first give us our First, give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you'll allow. So there seems to be a lot of resistance with you guys. But I actually have um, a playlist on my channel called Release Blockages. And there's three videos in that series. And I teach you three different strategies to help, you know, release those blockages. I highly recommend also that you look at the root chakra. Root chakra is um, the red energy center, which is all about to do with stability um, and finance. Finance is obviously um, overarches um, um, your financial situation. That's interesting. We've never had that one before. Okay, angels, can we have clarity on shower of abundance for the new moon in Libra? For my beautiful MK love. Just one card. I said that okay this is really weird you know how I said that um, I was shuffling cards before and two came out and I was like angels help me this card came up before and I was like I just need one card but I got two I actually pulled this for one of my um, clients okay so it says wedding okay so before I get into this a wedding could be so many different things this could be you're going to a wedding you're getting married, you've just been recently proposed to. Um, 
A wedding can be like a union of two souls coming together. It doesn't have to be like a traditional wedding. Something to do around that. What came to mind? Okay, let me read what it says. Marriage is a union of two souls joined. Oh, that's exactly what I just said. Of two souls joined in love, mutual respect and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to a well-founded faith in love's power. Continually breathe life into faith of love, dearest one. I think this is a beautiful card. I know this would have thrown a lot of you, but this is a general reading. So it's also to do with relationships too. It's like, it's like, your your it's like a deepening connection and it's probably falls into when i was first shuffling it was taking a while it takes a while to develop that level of trust so maybe you have just um found a new partner how exciting and you're noticing that your love is deepening over time oh my god let's get more clarity this is crazy weird okay let's go on to the next deck so this is the Archangel Raphael deck I love this card for many reasons the, well the most um, valid reason well they're all valid reasons but the most prominent is it helps me identify where your blockage is so angels can we have clarity on shower of abundance and wedding for my beautiful MK love then this is for the new moon in Libra on October 19 can you help us identify where their blockage is? Oh, that came up. Avoid allergens. <laughs> this could... I pulled this one before for you guys. So this could be not only like allergens as in like, um, you know, is it what you probably think, like your allergies flaring up. It could literally be you being allergic to a type of person, a type of job. Um, it's just, I think it's another way to say avoid like toxic situations. It's like you're on a mission. You've got this beautiful horse and it's kind of like, da, 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 and you're on a mission, you're determined. And if you are bypassing these allergens, you're, you know, you're not taking detours. It's like you're going straight from one point to the other without going zoom, 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 zoom. Does that make any sense? What comes up to you when you see that one? So it says, Dear Archangel Raphael, please assist me in identifying and avoiding allergens that may be toxic to my health and happiness. Keywords, toxic to your health and happiness. Help me to only crave healthful foods and beverages. So high vibrational foods, when you eat high vibrational foods, you literally take on the vibration of which you're eating. So if you're eating um, a whole foods plant-based diet. So literally eating things that um, come from the ground, like plants that are grown in the ground, you're taking on that high vibrational energy. Where in contrast, if you were to eat animal products, you're taking on the energy of that animal as it was being slaughtered, which I can't remember the name of the hormone in which it released, but when you digest it, um, it's really not good for your body and I've noticed ever since I have been eating high vibrational foods it's literally helped me to tune in quicker to my intuition and it's literally helped me to get into alignment a lot quicker it's kind of like this like I'm literally like on a mission I'm going there I'm bypassing all the crap it's the same with relationships too I don't okay um, how do I say this? Family is a different thing. In regards to friends, I don't hang around anyone that lowers my, my vibration. <clears throat> I'm very mindful about the people that I keep in close proximity to my life, which is why I limit the number. Um, it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality of the people in which you're bringing into your life. And um, how else do I say this? In regards to family, that can be a different issue. And for me, that's something that I'm working on, especially with my darling little sister at the moment. And what you need to do is just say that, you know, if you're having issues with somebody, it's just like, 
you know that they're reacting the way that they are because it's a reflection of whatever they're going through. It's not because of you at all. Um, you know, everyone's just going through their own battles and sometimes we just have to say, I love you, I love you, I love you. I understand that you're not coping right now and that you really don't mean what you're saying, but I'm just going to give you some time and then when you're ready, I will be here to give you a hug. You know, so it could, this allergens one could mean so many things to you. Yeah, so high vibrational foods, your relationships, um, really just avoiding anything that's toxic for your body, your mind and your soul, which is a lot. <laughs> okay, angels, can we have clarity please on shower of abundance, wedding and avoid allergens from a beautiful MK Love fam. I just love them so much. I honestly do. I could not be doing what I'm doing if it wasn't for you. Okay. Prayer works. Oh, he's a baby. Okay. So this could be taken a number of ways. Went straight to my heart chakra then. So this is, okay. So there's a matter, your energetic block is in the heart chakra. Which also, well, this one could mean all the different chakras, really. But this one, I'm getting straight to the heart because I'm seeing love. I'm seeing a new life here. This could be like a new project. This could be a new partnership. This could mean birthing something new. And that when you focus on high vibrational thoughts and you literally feel the emotions associated with what you want as if you've already got it, that's gonna bring you your manifestation, AKA another word for that is prayer or meditation or the law of attraction. So it says, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for hearing and answering my prayers of whatever. So I feel like that does just confirm the shower of abundance. It's coming to you. You've asked for it. You're avoiding these toxic situations that are bad for your health and your happiness and by staying positive, you are when you when you literally think beautiful things and you you know you release those blockages in which doesn't serve you, you you can manifest anything you have ever wanted. I am living proof that that is possible. Like I manifested the love of my life for goodness sake. It took me seven years to work out how to do it because I was on a very unconscious journey. That's probably the best way to say it. And within 19 months, we're engaged. Like, I never thought that was possible. I was always told you need to be with someone for like five years to know them before you should marry them. And I was like, ah, uh, when you have like a soul recognition and a soul connection with somebody, this could be, you know, this could be someone from like your yoga teacher to your um, your bus driver, your Uber driver, your, I don't know, your friends around you. You just, when you meet them, you've like had a cup of tea and then before you know it, it's three hours later and you just feel like you've known them your whole entire life. Ding dong, that is a soul recognition. So it's just like, keep feeling those beautiful thoughts and the universe will literally bring you what you have ever wanted. You may pray to God, the universe, divine, Buddha, whatever you want to. It really doesn't matter. If you are like declaring what you're wanting, like you're asking for help and you're feeling the emotions associated with it as if you've already got it, it's coming to you. It's literally coming to you. <laughs> I just heard that song. This is so random. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. That's so weird and that's not a Mel kind of song so you can tell that I didn't think of that <laughs> oh my god all right let's move on to the next deck this is um my numerology deck from Michelle Buchanan she's an Aussie by the way how flipping exciting I didn't even know that I had these cards on my vision board for ages trying to locate them I don't even know where oh yeah I found them in a bookshop okay angels can we have clarity for my MK Lab fam on shower of abundance Wedding, avoid allergens, and prayer works. Just one card, please, and then I'll choose another card after, okay? Just one. Okay, the 
this one. And then this one fell off down. Holy shit, that one came out again. A spiritual partnership. So this is this one. Okay, seven, eight, nine. Nine is the completion. Spiritual partnership. So this could be, I think this is basically confirming what I spoke about before. Someone who is literally in alignment with your, with your values, which it is possible to find someone that literally thinks the way that you think. Divine timing may take a little bit longer considering if you have blockages and there's resistance in your vibration. Because when there's resistance in your vibration, you literally start to slow down the manifestation. It's like you go back upstream again, like you're paddling in the raft. When you release that and you surrender to the universe, that's when you can find those people through prayer, meditation, and avoiding toxic situations, really anything that lowers your vibration. So when you're doing your self-love practices and you are in alignment, in alignment basically means when you're happy. You know when you feel good, your emotions are the perfect indication of how you're feeling. I refer to them constantly as the emotional guidance system, which I learned when I was researching the law of attraction through Abraham Hicks. And it's so interesting to find the people that the universe sends to you when you're in alignment. When you're not, you don't see these clues. That's why some of you may be looking at me and go, now, what the heck does the flipping wedding card mean? I have no idea. You know, maybe it does apply to you because it's a general or maybe it doesn't. It's hard to say. Okay, let me just read more about this card in case I've missed something. Okay. This card indicates a time when a significant spiritual relationship is about to be forged. Perhaps it comes in the form of a friendship between like-minded souls on a similar journey towards alignment. I don't even have to read this book anymore. I'm getting so good at this. It set, the saying goes, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And when yours arrives, he or she will assist you in expanding your spiritual growth. Yay! During the course of this relationship, you will play the role of both the teacher and the student, and the wisdom gained from this experience will enhance your connection to source. Perhaps a spiritually minded person will broaden your understanding of the divine. Maybe you become a catalyst in another spiritual journey or help that individual on his or her path. Regardless of the form a spiritual relationship takes, it will serve your greater good. So pay attention to the speakers, teachers, authors, or those teaching you respect. Be on the lookout for people on a journey similar to your own. Embrace the opportunity to enhance your spiritual growth. Through a sacred spiritual relationship, I deepen my connection to source. That's really nice. Like, really nice. Well, now I don't know which card I chose. Okay, let me just do, let me just shuffle again, okay? Okay, angels, can we have clarity on shower of abundance, wedding, avoid allergens, prayer works, and spiritual partnership for my empty love him. I just need one card. Okay. Holy crap. Then we got the teaching and the learning card. So when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. So that basically just confirms this one. We got a lot of purple cards, which me signifies the crown chakra, which I actually need to make a meditation for you guys. I think it was on the 29th. Yeah, on the 29th. So when will you get that here? So one, two. So like just over two and a half weeks, I'll have that one ready. Let's just read what the affirmation for that one is. 57. Maybe some of you are... I think I've already said it. Yes, I love when this happens. Um, everything I learn and teach serves the greater good. See if I missed anything. This card indicates a time of significant learning and growth when the wisdom you will gain will be a benefit to others too. There is much potential for you to teach what you've experienced. In fact, your life lessons are just as valuable as your academic knowledge. 
Therefore, every trial and tribulation can help you be service of the world. It's so interesting. I was listening to the lyrics of um, Alessia Cara, Scars to Your Beautiful. Oh, I love that song. It's on the MK Love Play, MK Love Fan playlist on Spotify. Um, and she said something in there. I really like, she's basically saying like, the worst things that have ever happened to you are your greatest strengths because you can use that and you can set yourself free and literally help everyone that is around you. And I think that is such a beautiful gift to be able to have. It's like, you don't need to study to, like, I know some of you feel like you need to have a degree in order to teach. It's like, I have a degree, but I actually don't use it, you know? So it's like, well, in the right field. But I, I just feel like whatever you've been going through, whether it's been something that has been going on for years and years, something that's just happened recently, whatever it is, it is hit for you to serve others and for you to help other people. And this experience is going to help you grow. Yes, it's broken you down. Yes, it's made you feel like you can't go on. But just know that everything that you've been going through and everything that you have learned, someone around you needs that guidance. Somebody around you needs that clarity and that love and that compassion. And you have it. And when you do that, a shower of abundance is coming to you. This doesn't necessarily mean financial gain. This could be abundance in that you've your heart feels full again and that you are out of a stage of depression and that you are feeling like you are invincible <laughs> or that song I'm unstoppable I'm invincible yeah I win every single race the Sia song I put it in the video on last Tuesday make sure you watch it it's a really good thumbnail by the way it's a picture of me blubbering my eyes out so that should have definitely got your attention but I feel like what you're going through is beautiful you may not see it right away or maybe you like already progressed and I know a lot of you are have businesses because a lot of the readings I've been doing are centered around your careers I would probably say 50% of the readings I've done so far are centered around careers. So maybe you are teaching somebody something else. Maybe you're embarking on a new part of your career and you're like, I have no idea. Ooh, oh, that just made me think of something for me. Huh. All right, let's move on. Let's go on to the Angel Oracle from Doreen Virtue. Angels, can we have clarity for my MK Love fam on Shower of Abundance wedding? Avoid allergens, prayer works, spiritual partnership, teaching and learning. So excited to see what this is. Ah, I don't know which one. Okay, well this one fell by itself, so I'm gonna go with this one. Ah, holy shit! <laughs> Celebrate! Oh my god, that was a song I heard when I used to go to church. Celebrate when we have been given. Celebrate the spirit of Jesus alive. Oh my God. It says a celebration, a wedding, a graduation, a birth announcement. Oh my God. Which is the baby that I saw in here. And the wedding. I've got goosebumps. So I got the, I got it right. The need to have more fun. Okay. So I see three beautiful, okay, let me just show you. So you're under the water, under the sea, under the sea. So you have three beautiful chalices here with like, what are they, like mermaids? I don't know what they are. They actually look a bit scary in the faces, to be honest. And there's like dolphins around. And then this one here is like having, I was gonna say having a whale all the time, but having a great time. And there's another one there. It's just like, and they're, oh, so it's like the light is coming down and it's focusing on all of the good things which is your, your celebration which is your shower of abundance we just came full circle then yes i love it when this happens let me just read the angel tarot i'm still see if i can get some more clarity 
Okay, it's time for a celebration. Weddings, announcements, announcements of pregnancy or birth and reunions alike. Graduations or promotions are on the horizon. You need to have more fun. You're working too hard and you must learn to relax. Throw a party or take a vacation. <laughs> Ow, I just hit my head. Um, additional meaning, community, hospitality, entertainment, good future, happy conclusions. It's just that you just need to have more fun. You need to take yourself out on a hot day. Literally. Where is your happy place? Where? What does that look like for you? If, Well, for me, it would be going to my favorite place that makes the best chai, um, chai tea lattes on the Sunshine Coast. And I sit there with a big pot, like enough that's like 500 milliliters, like half a liter. So what, I don't even know what that is for you guys in America. I don't know what gallon that is in gallons. I don't even know what units you're in. Anyways, so it's a lot. And it's enough for me to get like four cups out of one pot, which is fabulous, like small cups. And like, you know, those ones that you can hardly get your fingers through. You're like, oh, dude, who made this? Anyways, so take yourself on a hot date, you know, I just heard the word ravish. <laughs> That's not even in my vocabulary. Okay, so my angels are trying to tell you you need to ravish yourself. Like lavish, oh, I heard lavish abundance. So it's like maybe self-love to you is having a bubble bath and you've got essential oils in the bath with Epsom salts and you're like reading a book or you're listening to a podcast or maybe you have a babysitter and they're looking after the kids and you and your husband go out on a romantic date. Um, that could be a self-love practice to you. You know, self-love doesn't necessarily mean something that is just for you. It can be shared with other people as long as it's like your choice. Just what you like, what do you love to do? Ideally, my self-love practices, I like to, I'd say 90% I like to do them by myself, which is when I gain the most clarity. It could be literally going for a walk. It could be going for, have a dance with some friends. It could be going out for pizza and watching sunset. If any of you saw me on my Instagram stories, you would have seen that, which is how I celebrated the launch of my business. Anyways, my love, so do things, you know, reconnect back with your inner child. What did you used to do when you were younger when that you haven't done for a while? It could like, oh, there's so many things. It's just whatever popped into your subconscious, that is what you need to do, okay? Capiche? All right, let's quickly recap because it's almost at 30 minutes. Okay, so this is good. So this is all about the new moon energies that are occurring in Libra on October the 19th. Now this is general, okay? So whatever pops into your head, that's your message. So we have shower of abundance. No need to worry, it's coming. There is a wedding, a joining of, like, of two souls with a connection that's deepening over time. Avoid anything that toxic, that decreases your health or happiness. Anything that lowers your vibration, you need to get rid of it or stop doing it. Use prayer or meditation or using the law of attraction by thinking high vibrational thoughts because there is a beautiful um, baby, a new opportunity, something that you're nurturing that is coming to you through a spiritual partnership and now that you're ready, your teacher will appear or you are teaching somebody else what you have learned. And you know, it's time to celebrate. You've been working hard and this is beautiful. This is so good. We always have such beautiful messages. Yes. Yes. Oh, anyways, my love, I just wanted to remind you that if you would like further clarity on this reading, or to relate to your own personal situation because sometimes these general readings I know they help a lot of you but some of you have more specific questions that you would love answered please book your very own private spiritual reading I would love to read for you and yeah just click the link below it would um, direct you over to my shop melaniekatelove.com forward slash shop and then you can select between two different readings one of them is actually, well, they're both 30 minute readings, both recorded as in this video format here. 
but one of them is delivered within seven Australian business days and the other one is delivered within 48 hours. Now the 48 hours one is probably if you've got an emergency situation or you need like urgent clarity, you have to make a decision and you literally are not in alignment to listen to your intuition and then that's where I come along and I save the day. So if you would love one, please click the link in the description. I would love for every single one of you to comment below what came up because you guys know I would love to hear from you. I'll be replying to comments for the first hour, so get in first. There's a dog barking next door. Anyways, my love, have an amazing day. I cannot wait to hear from you. I love you, I love you, love you. Make sure you celebrate, do those self-love practices, yo, bye.